Yo, you're probably asking yourself, Eli, I'm thinking about moving to Albuquerque, but I have no clue or any idea of where to move to. Well, lucky enough for you in this video, I'm thinking about you. I really am. This video, I'm going to talk about the top three areas that you're going to want to look into when you are moving down to Albuquerque, because these are up and coming areas. These are going to be areas with new developments going up, new housing, all these great things just happening in these top three areas. Number one is going to be the South Valley, of course, heart and soul. That's where I was born and raised. And then we're also going to be talking about the Northwest. And on the third one, on the last one, it's going to be a cool one for you guys. The, this place has great boba, awesome barbecue. One of the best parks in town, in my opinion, because it's also close to the mountains. So stick around, find out, take some notes, hang out with us for a bit. Catch you in a few. Hey, yo, what's going on, guys? My name is Eli, and if this is your first time tuning into the Living the Albuquerque channel, do us a huge favor. Hit that subscribe and notification bell down at the bottom. That way you guys are never missing out on any videos because we are dropping videos every Tuesday and Thursday talking about what our beautiful city of Albuquerque has to offer. Now, we're getting a ton of reach outs, a ton of people calling us, asking us, hey, Eli, what is the top areas that are up and coming that we need to be looking into when we're moving down to Albuquerque? Well, lucky enough for you in this video, we're talking about that. We're going over that. We're going to be going over some of the major amenities that these places have to offer. And to be honest with you, I'm going to give you a little bit of insight from my own perspective of why these are some of the top areas. Now, that number popping up on the screen, guys, is my direct line. And whether you're looking to move down here within the next 30, 60 or 90 days to any one of these top areas, I would love to hop on a quick Zoom call with you guys. That way we can really hammer down what the details look like really make a plan around what it is and what it's going to take in order for you to get down here to Albuquerque, right? So that's something that you guys are interested in. We love to help. Now, when we're talking about top areas, this area here is going to be one of my personal favorites. The South Valley is just super up and coming with DR Horton and, you know, them building the Aspire neighborhood up there. They're bringing a lot more attention to that area since the Atrisco Heritage Academy which is a high school. I know it's very, very exquisite. Uh, I, I'm only being biased because I graduated from there, but with that area getting a lot more new developments, more people moving down there, they are attracting a lot more younger folks, a lot more younger families to come and really liven up the area to bring more attention because they built the movie theater, they built the Whataburger, Chick-fil-A, uh, bunch of different other little restaurants all within that new shopping center down there off of course in real bravo but this area is also attracting a lot more established people because people are buying up the land that is kind of been held by families for generations down there and building either compounds massive extravagant custom homes or just a forever home that they can build a little ranch a little farm you know all these great old school living types of deals that really isn't kind of seen anymore in these major cities but lucky enough for us that you know we still have some of that within the city in the north valley but the south valley is really an untapped area that is kind of low key so for those that are actually paying attention and seeing that this area could be something big or taking full advantage of that so do you want some pets you want a horse you want to have water rights possibly like we do down in the south valley or you just want to put your kids in one of the one of the bigger academic schools that has you know a very good college mentorship program uh, really prides themselves on the white collar jobs like being a lawyer doctor those kinds of things then the Trisco Academy is going to be an area that you want to look into or if you're into off-roading believe it or not this side of town is close to the Mesa and there's tons of trails out there so if you want to take your side by side four-wheeler dirt bike or whatever please be safe wear a helmet I just got to put that in because I'm a dad right but really, you can just hop, skip, and the jump, ride that side-by-side -side or that four-wheeler up the road and really be conveniently located within the Mesa to kind of get away for a couple of hours, have some fun, get, you know, distract yourself, and stay out of trouble for one like me, right? Although it may seem like the Northwest doesn't have a whole lot to offer, believe it or not, Northwest side of Albuquerque is one of the most sought-out areas just even locally because... Homes don't usually go up for sale in that, in that area, and when they do, 
they sell fast. You can kind of have an idea that being very family oriented, being very conveniently located to a bunch of freeway accesses, uh, restaurants, shopping, all that deal that more people are going to be moving to that side of town. And with more new developments getting put up on that side of town, like Target, which I'm not very happy about because uh, my wife spends all her money there. I am never going to financially recover from this. <laughs> she, if she's watching this, she's going to kill me. But, you know, there is good stuff going in that area, like Sprouts, Keep Us Healthy. They got, like, the old shopping centers. And they recently, not a couple years back, put up a, a kind of like a brewery, movie theater thing where you can go enjoy a beer, have some good food, and watch one of the m new movies in some awesome reclining seats. But other than that, the Northwest is getting a bunch of new development put up in that area up there by 98th, building a ton of homes. D.R. Horton, I believe, just finished up. And Pulte is just about done. So if you are thinking about moving somewhere that is number one family centric, really is bringing a lot more new developments as far as like shopping, restaurants and all that goes. The Northwest is going to be an area you're going to want to look into. Man, it's been crazy hot out here and it's overcast today. We've been getting some rain this morning, but it, it's really nice to get out and just enjoy the weather out here in Albuquerque. Check this out beautiful isn't it man it's so nice out here and on this walk you know walk and talk let me know if you guys like this by the way you just kind of like walk and talk thing showing you guys a little bit more of the areas and walking through these awesome neighborhoods but just to hop right into it the north abq acres area is the last and one of the most sought out neighborhoods or areas in albuquerque right now just because of the 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 school districts that are up there you got hope christian school you got Albuquerque Academy, which both of those are kind of like a private school. And then you got La Cueva, which all three of those have good sports um, curriculums or programs or whatever. Gosh, that's kind of like I'm way, that's way too smart of a language for me. But anyways, you guys understand what I'm getting at. But they also have a nice path that that they created for kids to get to college. And we all know that as parents that we really want to hope that our kids continue with their academics, continue to grow and whatever they choose to do. So a lot more families that have high school kids or older kids are moving to that side of town. But not only that, aside from people with families, there is a lot more land available out there. You are going to pay a pretty penny for it because it is closer to the mountains. Like I always tell you guys, the closer to the mountains you get, the more money you're going to pay for that piece of land or house. Doesn't matter, right? Being close to the mountains is an amenity because of all the, the different tracks uh, walking trails and all those things that they have over there for you guys. Now, as I'm making my way back to the office, and I really appreciate you guys hanging out and kind of allowing me to discuss the top three areas that are here in Albuquerque. And if you guys are thinking about moving to any one of these areas, whether it's the next 30, 60, or 90 days, that number popping up on the screen is my direct line. And I'd love to hop on a quick Zoom call with you guys. That way we can iron out the details to make that transition to Albuquerque a lot smoother, right? But whether it's good barbecue, school districts, or a really fresh up and coming area with farmland, whether wh whatever area it is that you want to move to Albuquerque, and I'd love to hop on a quick Zoom call with you guys just to see how we can help to make that move a lot easier for you guys. But other than that, I'll catch you guys on the next one. Peace. Darkness falls and we all cry.